Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to make this edgeware texture that you can use for like machetes, knives or or tools or guns, it works really well on that or like mechs. Uh, unfortunately it does only work in cycles but you can always make it in cycles and follow my tutorial on baking textures and then you can use it anywhere you want. So let's just go to shading. Let's make a new material. I'm gonna make it metallic. And we're gonna add in a bevel node. Bomb to samples up to 16. Let's preview. I'm just using Node Wrangler here. You should you really should like enable Node Wrangler and learn most of the shortcuts. It's so useful. Uh, we're gonna add a geometry node, put it up there, and a vector math node, and connect the bevel and the normal, and make this a dot product. So if we preview, if we preview this, we can already see something happening on the edges. So we actually want a texture that's connected to the bevel that's gonna display instead of this line so you can make your own procedural texture like a noise or a musgrave or something like that whatever you want I'm just gonna use an image texture for now uh, and I have this like this plastic roughness texture that I really like but you can use anything you want but if you want this one, I'm gonna leave it in the description so you can download it. I'm just gonna use this roughness, roughness value. So we're gonna need to plug the color into the radius. And you can see something, it, it's faint, but we'll get there. So let's just plug this into the color and we want to define the colors now so it's not not super faint like that so we're just gonna add in mix rgb node plug this into the factor make this one completely white and this one black so you can see we are almost there so if we want to control the size the amount that uh, that the uh, texture takes up on the on the model we're gonna need a math node here and we're gonna need to divide it where's the divide okay and when we control the divide when we go down it takes more when we go up it takes less and less And we can control T this and add in, like, change the size of it and play around it, it all you want. And we can even add in, like, a, a bump. Plug this into the height, this into the normal, invert it. You can see this looks actually really good. So that's it. 